Kampala is growing very fast. Huge influx of people coming into the city, many informal settlements. It's quite difficult to plan and ensure quality service delivery for such a population. But what is important is to make sure that we have priority in terms of focus. The perspective of citywide inclusive sanitation is looking at two major aspects. One, making sure that we look at the entire sanitation service chain. Secondly, we look at city-wide service delivery in terms of spatial coverage. Once you say inclusive, you have to take time to look for everybody. So we are looking at the mix of technologies and systems that can be used to serve the different populations by virtue of their different social and economic backgrounds. We have very strong relationship with KCCA. Of course, our mandates are very clear. So as National Water and Sewage Corporation, our mandate on the sewage side is to provide sewage services. And we cannot do that 100% because of various, various reasons. Cost is one of them, planning is another. Ability to actually sewer, um, even if you had the money. A city that is on so many hills may not be very realistic. So KCCA has its role when it comes to sanitation, on-site sanitation and what they can do. We've struck such a good balance that when it comes to bulk treatment, National Water will play that role, not just for storage services, but also for fecal sludge. For the emptying and transportation, we focused our effort to ensure that private sector is enabled to provide that service at a citywide scale and making sure that they have incentives, for example, for going into the urban poor areas. And some of these are not monetary, but basically promotion, moving with them into communities, promoting their services putting up a dedicated call center which connects communities to the private operators. The strength is that we have a strong uh, regulatory body, Kampala Capital City Authority. They have developed very clear enforcement uh, policies and also they develop standards for the toilets. I consider myself as both an engineer and a business person because because sludge is gold and uh, if well handled can be reused as uh, charcoal, uh, briquettes for heating, as manure, it can be also used as biogas. We are there to facilitate, to support, for example, the private sector that we are passionate about. Because without supporting the private sector, we won't be able to sustain the sanitation services. The good thing with NGOs, we have the space and liberty to try out things that work. If they fail, we abandon them. But we have that flexibility to pilot, to try out new things. So that gives us an edge of uh, maybe government. Do we have a national sanitation working group and in this national sanitation working group, all these sectors actually represented. We have the academic here, we have the private sector, we have the NGOs, we have the government, we have the national water and KCCA. So there is a plan, the sanitation master plan, and the, the main actors work together. It's a platform for sharing and showcasing your work. It's also a platform for learning. We learn from each other. Sanitation is not just about a toilet. Sanitation is a health issue. It's a development issue. It is an equity issue. When you deny people sanitation, when people fail to access sanitation, they will be sick, less productive, they will lose income, loss of economy, and the country 
will go down in terms of development. So it is not just a toilet issue, it is a development issue.